guys, this is a pretty easy reindeer gnome. Um, if you want to know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. He's made out of one legging. Okay, first of all, you're going to need the supplies here. All of these are going to be listed in the description below, but you are just going to use the one legging to make the, the body and the hat. Okay, we're going to use 9 inch by 21 inch non-woven fabric because we're going to add some beads and we want to make sure that they don't come out of there. We're going to take two 1 inch by 3 inch styrofoam discs and we are going to glue them together and then glue them to the bottom part of this fabric. We're just going to roll it up just to make sure that it is in there good. And I'm using the non-woven fabric because I'm going to add a few beads and it will not go through the beads. So just roll that up really good. We're just going to make a tube and then we're going to glue the end of it and then just stick your hand down inside there and just flatten it out to make sure it's completely secured. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add some beads. You don't need a lot of beads, you know, maybe um, I think a half a cup is what I used. And then we're going to add polyfill until we get this tube to be about six inches in length. So go ahead and fill that up. Then we're going to tie it off. And then we're just going to make sure that that's going to be six inches from the bottom up to just where the tie string is. So I'm just going to show you on a tape measure so you can see. Get that tied up really good. Cut that off six inches to the tie string. Okay, then we're going to add our felt, and we're using a 9 inch by 10 and a half inch felt, and we are, we are gluing it on the 9 inch side, and we're just going to roll that up. And the reason I'm adding this is so that when you put the um, legging over the gnome, you don't see any of the white through the legging. If you can't find the same leggings as I have, just, just to make sure that if you get a thinner one, it is concealed. So just go ahead and do the same thing with there. We're making a tube, and we are going to tie it off right there at the top where we tied off the other one. Okay, and this felt also makes it a little bit more solid, um, makes it feel like a heavier product, a better quality product. Now, once we get that all tied off, we're going to go ahead and cut off about an inch from the tie string. And then we are going to fold that back onto the body itself, and we are going to glue that down all the way around. Just so that's more flush with the top part of that um, body. Okay, once you get all that done, then we're just going to glue a little bit in the middle of the white non-woven fabric just to glue it shut so that if anything, if it opens up, if the string pops or whatever, it will, will not open up. Just close that up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach a um, circle to the bottom of this. And that's a three and a quarter inch circle. And just make sure it's glued down all the way. You want to just hide that styrofoam. Then we're going to take our legging. We're going to come over the top with one of the finished ends. Pull it down there. And then we're going to glue that to the body before you pull it up and tie it off. Because once, you, if you do this part first, then you won't have any shortness on the bottom part in, in case you tied it too tight. So get it glued first. And then we're going to pull it on up there and we're going to tie that off. And we're going to tie it up around there where we have that non-woven fabric sticking up. So about the same distance. Just make sure that you go all the way up to the top there and get it flush with the body. And I'm using a pretty strong string. You just want to kind of tie it both ways. So tie it that way, turn it over and tie it the other way. And then that way you make sure it's really secured. And after you do that, we'll go ahead and trim the excess off. And then we're going to cut off that fabric about a half an inch from that string and then the other half will be for his hat. Okay, then we're going to take that fabric and we are going to fold it off, fold it back and we are going to attach it to the body. This just gives it a little bit more strength right there and make sure everything stays together. Okay, then we're going to grab a string and we're going to wrap it, um, turn this inside out and we're going to take our string and wrap it around the top. We're going to go six and a half inches up from the bottom and that's where we're going to do our tie. And that's going to make the hat. That's what size hat we want for him. Just tie it off real good. Clip it back. Clip off any excess on the top. And then we are going to fold that back and glue that flat to the, to the um, legging. It's easier maybe if you put your hand inside of there to get it a little bit more flush. Okay, next we're going to make the pom-pom for the top. We're just going to cut a two and a half inch by two and a half inch piece of faux fur. Just draw your little square there. We're going to make it into a square. 
and then just cut behind the faux fur only, not through the faux fur, and then go ahead and clean the excess fur off of there. Then we're going to take some embroidery floss, and we're just going to um, do a casing all the way around on all four sides so that we can draw that up to make that pom-pom. Just probably quarter inch stitches all the way around. And I'm using the embroidery floss because when you draw that up to make that pom-pom, it's your thread is not going to pop. And I used all the layers of those that um, embroidery floss, all the, all the strings. Go ahead and draw that up. And then just tie that off. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and shake it, open all that fur up, and then we are going to turn our hat right side out, trim off any excess that you have on there, and then we are going to just stitch a couple little stitches to the hat with that floss, and then we're just going to tie that off. And that will secure that real well. Just right through the very center. And then maybe another stitch as well. And then just uh, tie that off. Okay, then we're just going to attach it to our gnome body. Just kind of shake it, open it up a little bit, put it on there with the cuff there. And we're going to set that aside and we're going to go ahead and do his beard. And we're going to cut his beard at three inches wide by two and a half inches in length. So just go ahead and measure that off. So you want the, the flowing down part to be the two and a half inches. Just draw that off of there. And then we're just going to come with our scissors on the fabric behind. We're just going to make a U all the way around from one side to the other. Then clean all that off. And we're going to go ahead and attach it to our gnome. So we're just going to lift his head, hat back a little bit and put it right there. When we need that little cuff to be there, because that's where we're going to put our little reindeer ears or antlers. Just go ahead and attach some glue to the back of that. And then glue that down. Pull that hat on down over top of the beard, put it aside, and we're going to build our antlers. Using the pattern below, you're going to go ahead and cut out the antlers. I used a furry type of um craft foam and I'm just showing you to go ahead and take a piece of tape and clean off all the excess that's on there and you'll need to do that to the um, ears and to the legs as well. We're going to take a, a pipe cleaner, just turn that over, make sure that you have matching sides, so opposite sides and we're going to glue those together. And then just take your time on this one a little bit. I'm going to kind of rush through um, and speed it up a little bit. But go ahead and take time and really glue these antlers together. Make sure that all the sides are glued good. In the center and everything. Because you want to make sure that that is stuck together well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other antler. I'm just going to kind of fast forward through this part, so but just do the other antler exactly like this one. And then we're going to take the ears, and we're going to put those together. So just take the little bottom part and glue the top part onto it. So do a contrasting color because it just looks a little bit better. And then we're going to come back in, and we are going to clip the bottom part of the pipe cleaner off of there. Set those aside. Now we're going to add a little bit of decor to his ears so that when we put the ears onto the hat, you don't see the bottom ledge of the ear. I'm just covering it up with a couple little bows. And I'm just going to glue right along the bottom edge of each ear and attach those bows. Then I'm going to go ahead and stick his antlers in there to find the center of where I want his nose to go. And then we're going to attach his nose. And I'm just using a felt ball. I got it on Etsy. It's just a red felt ball. Just attach it right there. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to attach his ears, his antlers. Just put a little bit of glue there. You don't have to use too much. Just figure out exactly where you want them before you glue them. 
And then again, you know, got pipe cleaner in there, so you can bend them and shape them however you want to. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go around the bottom edge of the hat, and I'm going to glue it to the body. And you don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue. Then we're going to go ahead and attach his ears. And we're just going to kind of um, tilt those at an angle right below his antlers. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing on the opposite side. Just glue that one and glue it at the opposite angle. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do his um, feet and legs. We're going to cut our cork at one and a quarter inches, then we're going to take the miter cutter, dial it down on the right hand side to 75, which is a 15 degree angle. And we're angling these so that his feet will, will, the top part of his feet will fold forward to his body. Then I'm just taking that same craft foam, the one that has the texture on it, and just rolling it up. And I don't have an exact measurement on this. I just cut some foam and I'm just rolling it around and then I'm going to clip it off. Just make sure that your seam is on the longer side of the cork, not the shorter side, because we want his feet to angle forward. So just really pay attention to that to make sure that your um, seam is on the longer side of that cork. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do that by both of them and put them aside. And we're going to go ahead and build his hooves. I'm just taking some black Sculpey clay and I'm rolling it into one inch balls. Just make sure that you get those really smooth. And after we finish getting them completely made up, we're going to go ahead and bake them at 250 degrees for 15 minutes. Okay, we're just going to take them and we are going to flatten them out. And we're going to have the back part of them more rounded. And we're going to kind of taper them forward a little bit to make that little hoof area. And they don't have to be perfect. All of them are going to be a little bit different, I'm sure. But it's just kind of just pulling it in in the front part there to kind of makes like a point. And then do the same thing for the other one as well. Just get the back part a little bit more full and the front part a little bit more tapered. And then we're going to take a knife and we're going to slice it right down the center of the front part just to kind of make his toe area. And then go ahead and separate that out and smooth out the inside of it and then pull it back together. And then do that on both of them. And then we're going to take a quarter inch dowel rod and cut it at two inches for both sides. And we're going to stick that through our cork and then we're going to make an indent into our hoof so that when we glue it in, so we can glue it in when we get done baking it. Just make sure that the hoof is facing inward and that you have your seam down the back. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go bake those. While they're baking, we're going to go ahead and make his tail. We're going to take a one and a quarter by four inch piece of fur and a pipe cleaner. And we're going to take a two inch dowel rod. We're going to glue the dowel rod down at the bottom part. And then we're going to glue the pipe cleaner in, but we want the pipe cleaner to overlap that um, dowel rod so that when we bend it, it's there's a connection there. Just glue that in and we're just going to glue down both sides. And, and glue that together. We're just sealing that in to make the tail. And then the dowel rod's what's going to hold it into the body. Just get it glued in there really well. And then we're going to go back and we're going to add a, a bead of glue down the middle where the hair is. And that will glue that area shut. So just seal that in. And that's going to be what's going to be towards the body. Then we're going to take it and we're just going to bend it right there at the dowel rod and we are going to cut a hole in the back and then we're going to stick that in. Make sure you got it exactly where you want to and pull it out and we're going to go ahead and add some glue down in there and attach that in there. All right, now while that's drying, we're going to put it aside and we're going to go ahead and do his feet and his legs. Just make sure that that hoof is facing the, the shorter side and that you do have your seam in the back before you attach those. Just add a little bit of glue where we made that indent for the dowel rod and just stick that in there. Okay, and then we're going to do the exact same thing for the opposite side. We just want to make sure that that um, dowel rod does go into that indent and that you glue that um, cork to that hoof. 
And then we're going to line the legs up onto the body, kind of at an angle, angled out on both sides, figure exactly where you want them. Mark them with a Sharpie. And then that's where we're going to cut them with the X-Acto knife. So we're just going to take an X-Acto knife, cut into, into there on both sides. And then I'm just, I took a little stick and stuck it in there so I could make sure I got that open really well before I put that um, stick in there. Let me put that before I put that leg on there. Get them both lined up good. Make sure that you have them exactly where you want them. Do the same thing for the opposite side. And then we're going to glue those in. Okay, so just pull that out. Add the glue to the inside. And put a little bit of glue around the cork as well. And go ahead and glue that in. And let that dry. And then we're going to go ahead and do the opposite side as well. Just pull that out. Add glue to the cork and to inside the hole there and attach that foot. All right, nothing to it. Pretty easy little video. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks so much for watching.